Ladies and gentlemen, members of the jury, members of the Roll the Tape film crew. You see, one of the things that I have taken pride in is providing integrity when it comes to broadcast journalism, right? And I know that Victor Conti will disagree with that. But I'm going to give you an example of how when I provide truth and evidence, I do it so graciously, but I also do it in a fashion that you all can understand. Now, I'm going to give you a reference here and you all can understand where I'm going with this. You know what? I'm doing way too much talking. Don't take my word for it. Roll the tape. And like I, it's not like I said in the beginning, I already walked the talk. I already did it. I already put up $40,000 for two fighters to be tested 24-7, 365. I did this back in 2012. Rachel Donaire can vouch and no need to for me. So people need to understand that. This is this is difficult. I've been advocating 24-7, 365 now since way back in the very beginning. And that needs to be clearly established. I've been pushing for this for what now? From, from 2012 to 11 years. There have been a total... This is all the 24-7 um, testing that's been done in the history of boxing. Nonito Denaire did two years. Edwin yep. Rodriguez did one year. And when Canelo got popped for clinbuterol, part of the condition of coming back is he did one year only, 2018, of 24-7, 365. That's it. Now, that was an interview that I conducted with Victor Conti, as you all know, a few months ago. That was the first interview out of two interviews that I've conducted with Victor Conti in a matter of a seven day time span. And you all just heard him say that he have sponsored two boxers, two, and he put up his own money $40,000 in total, which means that $20,000 for Nonito Donair, $20,000 for Edwin Rodriguez. And you also heard him say that only three boxers in the sport of boxing, in fact, he said the entire history of boxing, only three fighters have been subjected to 24-7 365 testing, right? Y'all just heard him say that, right? That's what he said in front of me, man to man, face to face, virtually. That's what he said before you all, the Roll the Tape film crew. That's what he said before you all, the audience, right? But here's the part that made me question what he said when he said it. This is the part that made me question it. I'm going to show it to you right now. The reason why I questioned that had nothing to do with the fighters that he sponsored. Salute to those fighters. Salute to Nonito Donaire. Salute to Edwin Rodriguez. Who subjected themselves voluntarily to 24-7, 365 blood and urine testing. Salute to those fighters. But let's hear what Victor Conti said in an interview that was published in March of 2015 by a YouTube channel called Seconds Out. You know what? I'm doing way too much talking. Don't take my word for it. Roll the tape. Any athlete that works with me, I recommend that they do 24-7, 365 testing. I've sponsored more than 10 boxers who have done this sort of testing. So let me get this straight. Since Victor Conti keeps saying in my comments section that I don't provide integrity when I'm publishing as a broadcast journalist. Let me get this straight since Victor Conti called me a liar. 
Let me get this straight. Since Victor Conti calls me Captain Clickbait, a pet name that he gave me. Let me get this straight. So, so when I interviewed Victor Conti, he said that he sponsored just two boxers. When I interviewed Victor Conti, he said that in the entire history of the sport of boxing, only three fighters subjected themselves to 24-7, 365 testing. But here it is in March of 2015. He claimed that he sponsored more than 10 boxers who went along through the process of 24 7 365 testing which one is it now listen now i know y'all don't want to hear this part because it might sound disingenuous but basically victor conti was being dishonest now either he was being dishonest in 2015 of in march or whether he was being dishonest before you all the public either way it don't make a difference we need answers.